Hi, Sarah. Hello, Arne. Welcome back to the European Parliament. Thanks you're, for having me again. You're coming from Fashion Revolution and you had this great quote, who made my clothes? This is how I got you known. What is Fashion Revolution and what are you doing this time in London and in Brussels? So Fashion Revolution is a global movement and we are focused on calling for greater transparency um, and also a fairer, cleaner, safer fashion industry. And the way in which we do that is we encourage people all around the world, you know, in London, in Europe, everywhere, to look at the clothing label on their clothes and kind of try and figure out what information is on there and ask the brands that they wear this question, who made my clothes, to demonstrate that they care about the human rights, the environmental impact, and, um, and the stories of the people who are working in the supply chains of the clothes that we wear. Right, I got uh, the institution known a few years ago when we looked at if we have child labor involved, what are chemicals on, what are human rights on textile supply chains, and so we learn from you a lot. And uh, you're doing a week, it's called Fashion Revolution Week. Yes. What are you doing in London on that? Sure, so every year we host Fashion Revolution Week. Uh, this year it's from the 23rd of April to the 29th of April. It always falls over the anniversary of Rana Plaza, which was a big factory collapse in Bangladesh where over 1,100 garment workers, mainly female, lost their lives making clothes for some of the big fashion brands that we all know and wear and you know buy from our high street and shopping malls. And we use that day to commemorate the tragedy, remember the victims, and we use the week to talk about the impacts of our clothes. And this year, we will be launching a number of projects and we'll be hosting loads of events all around the world. Many, many events will be happening in London and across the UK, but also across the whole of Europe, including in your constituency in Halle. I know you're going to be planning some events, so maybe you can tell me a bit more about those. But uh, the best place to look to find out if anyone's interested in you know, taking part in events is on our website, fashionrevolution.org. The other thing that I just wanted to point out is that we will be uh, publishing our annual Fashion Transparency Index which is a review and a ranking of 150 of the biggest names in fashion um, from luxury to, you know, kind of value sort of fashion brands. And we'll be looking at and ranking how much information they share about the people working in their supply chains, about their social environmental policies, and then and ultimately about the impacts that they're having through their business practices on the environment and on people. So stay, stay tuned, look out for that on the 23rd of April. 23rd of April is the one. We are also taking uh, place in my constituency because of Fashion Revolution, a uh, city next to my constituency, the city of Leipzig, mm. the revolutionary town of East Germany in 1989 when we got rid of socialism. They're now getting rid of bad textile supply chains. And so we take it with Leipzig together uh, and I'm taking a, a lead on that in Halle, a town next to it. So we will do this also in April and uh, so we will be on your international list as well. So look up fashionrevolution.org and uh, stay tuned to our next projects. Thank you for being here in the European Parliament and I hope I see you soon again. Thanks for your support, Arne, and thanks to everyone else for uh, partaking in our events.